still come here? Can you guys give me some mozzarella sticks if you go? Figure it out. Figure it out, baby, figure it out. What's up, Dominique from Neeks Films here, and guess what, I'm doing a review today of a product that I've been using for a couple years. I'm gonna do just a bunch of reviews that I've had a list of things to do because now I can do it because we're all home. Hashtag happy at home. The product I'm going to be reviewing today is Overtone, and I'm actually gonna do a demonstration as well. I used to have blonde hair, so that's when I first got it. They have really pretty pastel colors, like pinks and blues and stuff like that, and it didn't damage my hair, which was amazing, and it just washed out after a couple weeks. And it was a great way to tone your hair if you needed kind of a stronger tone, but didn't want to commit to an at-home dyeing system with the toning process, because that can also be scary, and you can make your hair turn gray. You can make your blonde hair turn brown, with toning. It's a great alternative, but they actually came out with colors for brown hair and I haven't tried it yet, but I'd actually like to in the future. So Overtone, if you're watching this, you can just send me some and I'll do some videos. Okay, at the beginning of 2019, I put highlights in my hair and I wanted to go kind of really beachy, blah, blah, blah. But then this year I got tired of it and I was like, back to dark brown. I noticed when you go get your hair dyed for the first like week or two, it's like really pretty. It's like the color that you want it. But then it turns kind of like red. I don't like whenever the sun's hitting my hair and I see this really like bright red color kind of sheen. I like it more cool tones. So this is my hair right now. It's not been the like luscious curls that it has been in the past. Um, so I really didn't want to do any more dyeing to my hair. I really wanted to keep it fresh. Before I did the highlights last year, it was completely my natural hair and my curls were just really pretty, really rich and healthy. I had a little bit of the leftover blue, like an intense blue. And so I was like, maybe if I color correct it with the overtone intense blue, yeah, I got it everywhere. But I used this and it actually took out the red in my hair, but that was just for like a little bit. I did a strand and I could see the difference and I was like, that's what I want. I want it to kind of just have a cooler tone and like kind of deepen the darkness of my hair. And then lo and behold, Overtone came out with Overtone for Brown. And I got this, which is the Overtone Espresso Brown Coloring Conditioner. It was okay, honestly, on my dark hair. I can't tell the difference between what my natural hair is and what this did to my hair. And there was just kind of a slight change. It kind of made it almost like a chestnut color. It kind of still didn't do that um, cool, cool brown that I was looking for. And they have another dark brown, but it looks like this one was darker. And so I don't, I didn't want to get one that was going to make my hair a lighter dark brown. I ended up ordering the black one and I'm really excited to use it. But the thing is, I didn't want it to make my hair black. I don't want my hair to be black. Um, but I will tell you this. I've always had a problem with my eyebrows being too light. Like they are, they're definitely there. I have the strands, but they are so light, especially if I go outside, the sun hits it. It's like, where did her eyebrows go? Even when you look at pictures of me as a kid, literally it's like, where are her eyebrows? They're just really not there. So I ended up using this to tint my eyebrows black and I'm telling you, it really made a big difference to me. What I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna mix the two so I get kind of the darkness and the cool tones of this black, but not too much where it's gonna make my whole head black. Okay, hang in there, stick with me. Here we go. I'm so tired. It's way too late to be doing this. This is the finished look. I did the black and the espresso color together. I'm overall happy with the results. Obviously, the ends of my hair have been dyed more, so it grabbed onto the color a lot more. It's been a really long day and I should have started with the roots. I don't know why I didn't do that. Next time, I probably will just go in with the straight black on my roots because black did not shine through as much as I thought it was going to, except on the ends part. I decided to go ahead and style my hair and see what it looked like all together. I can definitely see more of like a lighter color on my roots and I probably will start with my roots next time. When it comes to tone and stuff, it has more of a, it is more of a cool tone. Definitely the black took more onto the ends as expected. Okay, so those are my results. I overall think that overtone for browns is a great idea. I think that if you have dark hair, I'm curious to see what the colors would do, honestly. 
But if you have dark hair and you've tried overtone with the colors, then let me know. I would love to see your results. Otherwise, overtone, you can just probably send me more stuff so I can try it out. That'd be cool. If you like this video, go ahead and like it and subscribe. I would really like to see who else watching. I have more reviews for products coming up. If you would like me to review a product, then you can put that in the comments and I will try to get to it. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys later. This really bad. It doesn't even seem like I got a bad tan line. Well, this oh. camera does wonders. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wearing makeup, so. It's doing some wonders. Oh, you got the overtone stuff? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. I but turned my hair still. yesterday. Wow, oh I my gosh, look at this little ringlet. I know. Oh I my goodness. Little cute I ringlet. <laughs> you look so sunburgensy. <laughs>